Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. The Central Section Soccer Playoffs getting underway Tuesday night around the Valley. And at Madera High, the Coyotes get a goal from Miguel Gutierrez in the 109th minute to squeeze out a 3-2 win over El Diamante. They advance to play Dinuba in the quarters on Thursday. Meantime, the Fresno State baseball season will get underway this weekend. And the Mountain West coaches are thinking pretty high squad. In the conference's preseason poll released on Tuesday, the Dogs were picked to finish second behind San Diego State. The Dogs, of course, coming off an NCAA regional appearance last year after winning the Mountain West tournament titles. Speaking of baseball, what a season opening matchup in the high school ranks at Clovis West. The Eagles hosting Memorial in the Coca-Cola Classic. Ironically enough, current Panthers head coach J.D. Sales set to be inducted into the Clovis West Baseball Hall of Fame here soon. Top six, Panthers down two zip. Washington football signee Jalen McMillan, the RBI single. One inning later, now tied at two. Mac Delaney gets walked, and when the ball gets away, two runs are going to score. The back-to-back -back D2 Valley champs, who are playing in D1 this year, pulled the comeback over one of the other favorites in Division I, 4-2 the final. Also a good night for Brad Rosnowski and the Memorial Boys basketball team on Tuesday, playing at Fresno rival Edison. This is Avery Johnson of the Tigers getting busy. But 6'7 junior Jaden Garone would take over in that same quarter for the Panthers, showing an array of moves and a nice touch from downtown. Finished with 20 for the game. The Panthers actually scored 32 points in the third quarter alone after scoring 32 in the first half. They hang on for an 86-74 win, now 9-0 in the CMAC. Girls hoops now, off the 180. Kerman hosting Yosemite. Two of the top teams in the North Sequoia League here. Clarissa Garcia finding Brianna Hurt, the senior, drains the triple. Later, junior guard Patricia Meza with the catch and shoot from the top of the key for three. Yosemite down by as many as 18 in the first half, but the Badgers getting some help from junior Jenna Kurz right before the break. She hit back-to-back -back threes. Kerman, though, holds on to win 51-48. The Lions are going to share a portion of the league title along with Yosemite.